If you're into betting on horse racing or even just racing itself, one day a year we're treated to a very special meeting. It takes place in Ireland, it's pretty unique, it's something that you should do at least once in your life, and one year that's exactly what I did. So join me as I talk you through my journey to this very unique meeting. So I've been lucky enough to visit many race courses around the world now, but there was always one race course that absolutely fascinated me. So I had to make sure that I ticked this one off my list. So to visit this particular race course, I had to go to Ireland. So I stayed in Dublin overnight. The following morning, I got the Lewis to Connolly station. And from Connolly station, it was just a short ride up the coast to my final destination of Laytown. So upon reaching Laytown, I went for a little walk around the local area and it wasn't long before I'd reached the beach, which wasn't that far from the train station. They were still setting up and they had tractors and they were putting down the rails and other items when I arrived. Uh, but I also had a quick look at the stables. They basically were using horse boxes as the stables and then leading the horses out uh, from there. So yeah, a bit different from a traditional race course. So one thing that wasn't different from a traditional race course was the presence of bookmakers. And the green that overlooks the beach on this particular town had been converted into a large area for anybody that was attending the races. You could buy drinks, you could get food, you could place a bet, do all of those normal things that you would do at a traditional race course. So if you pay an entry fee at Laytown, you get access to this particular area. But the interesting thing is, of course, the beach is um, open-ended, so there are actually opportunities to view the horses when you go down to the beach, and a lot of people had done that, and they'd actually sectioned off a large part of the beach specifically for the area that was adjacent to um, all of the entertainment and betting. But you could still freely walk up and down the beach outside of this particular area. So this was something I chose to do as well because I was quite fascinated by the course. I was interested in what the going was like and you could actually look on the ground obviously and see the imprint of hooves and that would give you a feel for how you would rank this against uh, for example turf race courses but the course was very open which meant you could cross at many different points but also it's limited in length uh, because it has to be um, a straight obviously and it can't go on forever so necessarily all of the races are run over slightly shorter distances so while I was out running the course, naturally, there was a race, which I managed to see and to get a bit of footage from. But the thing that struck you when you're out on the course as well is just what a family friendly event this is, because generally you've got children everywhere and they're building sand castles and there are many different aspects to it. And because the sand is fairly firm, because the tide does come all of the way in, then it's perfectly accessible from a number of viewpoints. But this is what makes it unique. It's not that it's the only race that's run under rules uh, in Europe on the sand, but it's the fact that it's a very big family event. It's a, like a celebration of racing as opposed to just an ordinary race meeting. And also it's incredibly family friendly as well. So you should get the opportunity to do this from a number of different aspects, not just from a racing perspective. So having examined the race course in great detail and having watched a race on the beach, it was time for me to return to the main embankment and enjoy some lunch, a few pints of Guinness, an ice cream, all of those sort of things, but also to watch another race from that particular area. So I caught some footage there so you can see the difference between watching from the main embankment and actually watching on the beach. Enjoyable from both perspectives, but this is what's unique is that you can mill around quite easily. There's a gate to the beach where you can get out and watch the racing from there, uh, but you can choose to do either. And just like any other race meeting, they do actually have a large screen in the main area as well, so that you can keep a tab on how things are going from there. From this particular point, things started to get a little bit fuzzy as I was there with friends. And as a consequence, um, the number of videos and images that I shot started to decline. But nonetheless, I think that tells you that I had a very enjoyable day. And I think if you're going to do some race meetings, this has to be one of them that is top of your list. It's something that's fairly unique, something that you won't see anywhere else. And it was a very enjoyable day. And I'm sure that you would have a very enjoyable day too. If you want to visit Laytown Races yourself, they have a website. Um, Laytown is 
about 45 minutes to an hour north of Dublin, depending upon how you want to get there. The racing is run in September every year and it's thoroughly recommended.